While I was visiting Jess, I decided to make her the pink dress that River wears in Firefly. This dress has a simple design, it just consists of two circle skirts of different lengths and a tank top. A circle skirt is exactly what it sounds like. A big circle of fabric, with a smaller circle cut out in the middle for your waist. To make the pattern, you need two measurements. The waist circumference and the length you want the skirt to be. Once you have these measurements, you can calculate the radius of the waist circle by using radius equals circumference divided by 2 pi. To draw the pattern, I took a big sheet of paper and measured the radius of the waist circle from one of the corners. I made several marks and then used those to draw out the curve. I then measured the length of the skirt from the waistline, again marking all the way around and connecting the marks into a circle. Finally, I added seam allowance to the top and bottom. I then repeated this process to draw the pattern for the second skirt, which is just a different length. For the tank top pattern, I traced one of Jess's shirts and added seam allowance to all sides. We could only find the right type of fabric in a light pink, so I decided to dye some of it to get a darker pink. I washed the fabric to pre-shrink it and so that the dye adheres better. I then filled the bucket with hot water dissolved the dye powder and added this mix to the bucket. I used a test swatch to check if the effect wasn't too strong. I unfolded all the fabric and I made it wet to help the dye distribute evenly. And then I submerged it in the bucket. I kept stirring the fabric for about 20 minutes, checking the color every now and then. Once I was happy with the color, I rinsed the fabric under a running tap until all the water was clear. And now it just needs to dry. To make the outer skirt, I folded the fabric in half twice and pinned the pattern onto it. For the long skirt, the fabric wasn't wide enough to do the same, so I made two half circles, adding seam allowance to the sides so I can sew them together later into a full circle. For the tank top, I cut one layer of fabric for the back and two for the front. I was running a bit short on fabric here, so for one of those pieces I cut two halves plus seam allowance and then I sewed them together into a full panel. Alright, time to put it all together! I started by sewing the two half circles together for the inner skirt. I folded the seam allowances open and added two lines of top stitching to keep the seams nice and flat. I then sewed the shoulder seams of the tank top together, followed by the side seams. After some attempts to figure out the correct order of the layers, I finally got it right and sewed them together at the waist. It's really starting to look like a dress now. I cut some strips of fabric on the bias, which means at a 45 degree angle, and I used those to finish the neckline and the armholes on the tank top. Cutting the fabric at this angle allows it to stretch and follow around the curves. At this point I was both excited and a bit stubborn, so I attempted to sew the bias tape in place at the end of a very long day, and that didn't go so well. So the next day I spent some time with my seam ripper and took it all off again. Take two. To prepare the bias tape, press it in half with a hot iron. Then press the outside to the center line. Finally, press the whole thing in half again, and your bias tape is done. Fold it open, lining up the edge with the edge of the neckline, and sew it down on the fold. Make sure to stretch out the bias tape a bit around the curves. Then fold the bias tape over to the right side of the fabric, and sew close to the inner edge to finish it off. Hemming a circle skirt is quite a daunting task, so I decided to take the time to learn how to use a rolled hem foot. As a preparation step, I sewed a straight stitch all the way around the hemline. This is to keep the fabric from stretching during the next steps. To get the hemming started, I pressed the first bit of it with an iron. I then sewed it in place with a couple stitches, and then guided the fabric through the funnel on the rolled hem foot. This is a bit finicky, but once that's in place, all I had to do was guide the fabric as I sewed to make sure it all lined up properly. Of course the hemming was still a lot of work, but it made it a lot easier and it looks great. 
Finally, I sewed some elastic in the waistband with a zigzag stitch. And I made sure to mark the quarter point so that I would stretch it evenly all the way around. And it's all done! Isn't it great how the circle skirts move? 